Hello, oh, my name is John and today we're going to go through a tutorial on how to operate your MX3, your MS8, or your Freedom Android box. While it's booting up, you should have something like this, especially if you're running it for the first time. Or anytime you actually unplug it and plug it back in, it's going to start like this. When you do unplug your box, the first thing you do need to do is change your date, your time, because it's not going to be accurate. So every time you power on your box, you have to make sure the date and time is set up correctly. So to do that, the first thing you're going to do is go into settings. And what I do is I check off the internet and then I go to other more settings and then I scroll down to date and time then I open up date and time and I uncheck any boxes or if you want the 24 hour format you can leave it checked in I prefer the AM PM so I leave it alone the next thing you want to do is highlight the time zone that you're in and click it open and find the time zone where you're at. In my case, it's Eastern, so I'm going to click OK and it's set. And I'm going to exit back twice and I'm going to go back to the network. And now I'm going to highlight whether I'm doing Wi Fi or Ethernet. In my case, it's Ethernet. The reason I do this is because it brings up your real time. So by doing this, and I'm now connected to the internet, I'm going to go back up and I'm going to scroll back over to other, go back to more settings, and then I'm going to scroll back down to date and time. Now watch what happens when I open up date and time and I put the checkbox back into the network provider. It changed my, state, my set date time changed and my set time. So now I'm on real time. So I'm going to exit out back up to network and settings. But this time before I exit here, I'm going to go to display. I'm going to highlight display and then I'm going to scroll down to display position because if you notice my screen is too big for my TV. So by hitting display position, I'm at 100%. If you hit the down button where the OK is on the upper right hand corner of your hand controller, hit it down a few times, you notice my screen is shrinking. What I want to do is I want to get it close to the size of my TV and it's probably right about at 90%. So at this point, if you look over to the left, you have four buttons up and down. The one under the house looks like the Internet E. You're going to hit that and it will totally exit you and put you right back to the main screen. So at this point, our box is set up to where we want to be. Now you can go ahead and use your apps that are located down here. How did these apps all get here? Well, if you go into my apps, these are all the maps that you have loaded on your box at this time. If you hit escape and get back out of there and go over to this little square, this is how you add apps down there and remove them. So if I wanted to say, I want to get rid of Cloud TV because I really don't use it, I don't want it, and then hit Escape, see, it, it disappeared. But if you do use it and you want it, you can go ahead and add it on there. I use all these on the bottom. That's the Internet, and these are all live TVs between... Uh, Films on Demand, Showbox is a nice program, Megabox. I'm going to open Megabox up. I'm not going to open them all. I'm just going to give you a brief tutorial on how these uh, work. When you open them up, you get all your movies. If you take your mouse and click in the left top, these are all your movies updated. These are your ratings, your popular, new TV shows, if you want to find out what the TV shows are, you can go ahead and go down to TV shows. When you do move 
and different items, you're going to get ads that pop up. You just hit escape and they'll disappear. Otherwise, if you want to go visit them, you can go visit them. But if you open up one and it's something that you like, like Agents, Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., it'll give you the information. And then if you go over to videos and highlight videos, <clears throat> those are all the TV shows, uh, episodes, starting from season one. So if you scroll down all the way to the pilot, which is right here. If you open that up, it starts. If you like this show and you really want to save it, then you click favorites right here. And now it puts it in your favorite. So that when you exit out and you get back to the main menu, if you go here, again, this time, highlight favorites. There it is. Hit escape again. Another menu popped up. There it is. So if you open it up, you're going to get right down to season one. You know, you're going to get back to the information, go to videos, and that's how you save it. Go to your favorite episode, or if you're starting right from season one, go ahead and open it up. Select which option you want. In this case, 1080p is the best. And then go to play. When it opens up, it actually starts and you're ready to go. And there's a couple of ways that you can do the menu bar. If you double click your mouse key and you bring it down, you can actually pause the show. Uh, if you're halfway into it and you actually know you're right here, you can go here and then hit play. <clears throat> And it'll keep up where you were. You know, you kind of have to guess. And then when you're done with the show, you just hit escape and exit and you're out. What's good about this is it's in green. That just shows that you watch that episode so you don't have to watch it again. You go to the next one and so on and so forth. So I'm going to exit out here. And that's how basically mostly all these other apps work. I'm going to go into Cody. Um, I don't know if I did show you the clean memory yet. Um, I'm going to tell you now how to do it because this is really, really important. If you don't have clean memory or the trash can in your applications, don't worry about it. I'll show you how to clean it out. What I normally do is when I come in and I open this up, I normally just go into clean memory and I clear it and I clean it. And then I scroll down and I hit the trash can. And I clean it that way as well. And then the last place I go is I go back into settings. I click it open. Go all the way back over to other and more settings. And when I open it up, this time I just go down to storage. I open storage up and go down to cache data. I click that open and it says this will clear cache data for all apps. Click OK. The reason you do this is if you back up one and hit escape, you're going to see just under storage is apps. You don't have to go in there and select every single app and clear the cache. This prevents you from going into apps. You don't need to go in there, so stay out of there. Because if you go in there and then you mess up with Cody or anything and unprogram anything, you're going to get messed up and lose everything. So we're going to back out. And then this time we're going to go right into Cody. Open up Cody. And I'll show you a couple things in here. If you don't have the 16 version, then uh, you can ask your salesperson if they can install it because 16 is a little bit better than 15. These are the apps and programs that are already programmed in your box. I'll show you a couple and then move on. The first thing that pops up is the stream one and 
this one you always want to click OK. Then you can go into your TV shows. I like one channel. When you open it up, most of the apps that are in here are pretty much basic. So once you learn how to do it, you're going to be a pro. You can go into your movies or your TV shows. In this case, I'm going to just go into TV shows and, how, and show you how to save things to your favorites. If you go into favorites, there may be something in here. In this case, there is. I put, some, I put Quantico in here. But how did I get it in there? I'm going to go back to search. Before I go to favorites, I'm going to hit search. And I'm going to type in Quantico. It'll find it. And when it comes up, all you do is you highlight it. You scroll down and highlight it. You don't press enter. At this point, you get your remote control, the small one, the handheld one, and there's a menu bar on the left-hand side. It looks like three lines. You click that once, and you're going to get a menu that pops up something similar to this. If, you don't have, if you're not using that and you're still using your handheld or your wireless keyboard, you hit the letter C. And if you hit the letter C, you get this menu. You scroll down, and you hit the one that says Add to Favorites. In this case, because I already have it in there, it's asking me if I want to remove it. I don't, so I'm going to leave it alone. But you would click Add to Favorites, and then when you click it, it disappears, and it loads. And then all you do is you back, go back to your TV shows, and you open it up. And in this case, you go to your Favorites, and there it is. I will open it up once, show you what you do when you open it. You select it, you hit enter, and since there's only one season, and if you haven't seen it, you can go right to episode one, watch it, you open it up, you click it, and well, I already started it, but I'm going to hit start from the beginning. You're going to get a stream that comes up, and what I normally do is I check the first one, and if it doesn't work, then you go to the next one. If that one doesn't work, you go to the next one, and so on and so on until it works. In this case, I'll try the first one. And it opened it up. So the show's running. And if you want to get the menu, if you hit the OK again, there's the menu options. You can pause it by hitting it. And if you want to uh, play it again, just highlight your play button and go reverse or forward or if you're done you hit the exit the square and that exits it once the movie has played a check mark will go in next to the 45 and that shows that you've already seen it you can go to the next one and so on and so forth and then when you're done you just hit back back and back and back again and you're out Next thing, we have live TV. If you open up live TV, you have a few things here you can look at that's live. I'm not going to open up any, but you know, you can explore this. One that I do like is live DNA TV Pro. Again, you can go into UK channels. I went too quick. Ah, uh, I went too quick. It's flying. Hey, I apologize for that. But go back down to DNA TV Pro and USA. And, of course, there's a bunch of USA channels. If you hit Escape, that's where I ran into the problems. Always hit your back key when you're done. This way you have more selections. And then when you hit the back key, you get back to the main menu. You wouldn't be doing what I just did a second ago. Then, of course, you have your Pro Sports. If you open up Pro Sports, it brings you right to NBA, NHL, NFL, Major League Baseball. Again, hit back. And then there's Sports Devil and Castaway. Again, explore with it. And then lastly, what I'm going to show you is Phoenix. Phoenix is another one I really like. If you go into Phoenix and open this up, you'll see a whole lot of things in here, too. 
you know, just kind of explore. And then if you need an app that's not in here, you can actually explore it. If you open up apps and they're not here, and you want to find a different one all you go to is get more apps when the apps come up and you find one that you like oh this one looked pretty interesting let me go back here two movies involved that sounds interesting maybe it's uh, i can't find particular movies on these other apps and i heard good things about this one i can install it it will download and install the program and then once it's installed you can actually run it and open it up just like all the other applications <clears throat> and if you want you can go ahead right from here and just click OK and just open it up from here to see if you like it. You open it up, you look at it, you check a few things, and after you're done, you back out and you say, you know what, I really didn't like it. I can go back into my apps and go back to the more. Go back to two movies click it open again but this time I'm gonna uninstall it because I wasn't really happy with it so yeah I'm gonna uninstall it and then I can exit it I'm not saying this is a bad app it may be something you like and you know what I really didn't look at it that much so I'm not really familiar with it and then last but least I'm gonna show you that there is maintenance that you need to do in here as well Click open maintenance and there's four files you don't want to even touch. You don't want to touch these four and these three trash buckets. The only ones you want to do are the three deletes. You want to delete my cache, open it up. They found 11 files, I want to delete them, yes. Delete packages, I'm going to open it up, it found one. So you know what, I want to delete that one. And then I'm going to go to delete crash logs. Do you want to delete them? Yes. Okay. And that's it. Now I'm done with Cody. I want to shut it down. You go to power. If you hit power and hit enter, you're going to come up with this menu. If you exit it here, you can. Or if you go down to quit just underneath power with the down key and hit the enter, it now will quit overall and what it does is if there's any um, add-ons that are being updated it won't interfere with what's going on they'll update and then when the Cody is completely done it shuts off and it just shut off so we're fine and we're at the point where this concludes my tutorial but I want to stress one point is if you unplug your box at any time and you plug it back in always check in the upper right hand corner that you have the correct time and the date and 